Taurus TH9C. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now we've got the Taurus TH9C. Those were not my first shots. I took a few shots prior to you know, getting set up and it took a little while to get on target. And I also noticed a couple stove pipes with the first couple mags. I don't know if that's gonna be a break in thing or if it's gonna be an ongoing problem with this. But here it is, the TH9C. This is the subcompact model, obviously in flat dark earth frame, polymer frame, holds 13 rounds of this magazine. Also comes with a 17 round magazine with a sleeve on there. Double action, single action, single action, right around a little over six pounds. 3.54 inch barrel, Novak sights. It does have a thumb safety decocker on this side. All right, just sweep down, that decocks the gun. You can carry it cocked and locked if that is your choice. But it feels good, it, it shoots so far okay. We're gonna take a few more shots, see how it goes. And you know, many times when you get a new gun, it takes a couple mags to run through it before you finally settle in and it, it, you know, that metal on metal works itself through, but we'll have to see, let's load it up. All right, here we are once again, 10 yards away. I've got the 17 round mag loaded up. I don't have 17 rounds in here, pretty close. Let's see how it goes. All right, I settled in better that time. Uh, no complaints there, every round, fed, fired, ejected, and took me a couple shots to hit that seven inch target. You can see many of those cases came right back at me. I think one hit me in the head. Um, accuracy, it's not quite there. I'm also shooting a couple other guns today. I'm shooting my FNS 9C and the CZ2075 Ramy. I'm getting much better accuracy with those. All right, let's try that again. All right, ejections all over the place. I have a little bit of a problem with that, but not too much accuracy. I think I need a little more practice, but it's uh, it's performing, it is performing. It's just not quite the accuracy that I'm looking for, especially compared to what I've been shooting also today, which are the other two guns that I mentioned. I now have loaded up self-defense rounds. I have never had an issue with these, with any of the guns that I've shot with it, quite a few actually, and I carry these loads. So let's see how it goes with this TH9C, 124 grain, self-defense. All right, so from 10 yards away, I'm not doing great. Here we are 20 yards away. I've got those self-defense loads made by LTech. All right, settled in a little bit. The good is that it does fire self-defense loads, no problem. Uh, the not so good is my accuracy, it took a little while to figure out where exactly this points. And then when I thought I figured out where it points, because I realized every gun is different and we have to recognize that. And when you shoot other side by side, it gets difficult. I'm not making excuses for the TH9C. 
I think it definitely has potential. I may take it to an indoor range and put a couple hundred rounds through it and see if I get any better with it and see exactly where I'm hitting. Is it a nice gun? Yeah, for 300 bucks, I can't knock it too bad. It's not unusual that a new gun has some stove pipes and some failures here and there. We have to be fair. At the same token, it did have some failures and some things did not go well with it. I never quite settled into it. I think I need to give it some more time. I'm not ready to say this is not a great gun. At the same time, I'm not ready to say that it's the worst thing in the world either, or, or shall I say it's a great gun. I'm, I'm sort of in the middle with this at this time and we'll see what happens i'm not done with it though and we'll see how it performs if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe